what Crossroads has done is it, it has put the creative, imaginative, and expressive lives of kids and their internal personal lives on the same shelf with math and science and English and history. If the school sort of walks down between traditional education and progressive innovative education and trying to blend the two together. But Crossroads is one of the few truly integrated schools in Los Angeles. There isn't anybody in Santa Monica who, do, who doesn't know Nat and, and have trust in him, respect him. And so when Nat joined our board, we got instant respect from the community. When I first met him, um, people said, if you can get that guy to join your board, he'll bring a whole lot of strength and knowledge of, of the city of Santa Monica, and he'll help you, Paul, learn how to be an administrator. And that certainly was the case. One of the few people on the board who was not a current parent, who was not a, an alumnus or an alumna of the school, was not a grandparent, um, but it was somebody who was serving on the board of Crossroads because he believed in the mission of the school. A real guide and mentor and advocate uh, for the school and uh, whatever success I had was uh, significantly because of uh, having Nat uh, you know, helping me behind the scenes. He's had a profound impact on this city of Santa Monica. They don't call him Mr. Santa Monica for nothing. <laughs>